Here I have a one day cuckoo clock that is unique um, because I don't know if you could read that. It's made in Switzerland. The unique thing about this clock is the um, crutch with birch assembly is adjustable. It has a uh, swinging uh, adjustable pendulum where you hold down the crutch. I'm uh, sorry, the birch, and you can push the crutch one way or the other. It is adjustable. The other unique thing about this clock, of course, it says made in Switzerland, the movement. I don't know if you notice, um, but staring at the back of the clock, the chime side is on the right side of the clock, or the time side is on the left side of the clock. And the cuckoo opens this way so if it had a door on it and the cuckoo would open to the left um, as you're looking at the front of a clock the door would open to the left where most cuckoo clocks the doors open to the right but like I said this is uh, pretty cool because it has an adjustable um, Burge with um, Sorry it has an adjustable Burge with crutch assembly where typically if you hold a Burge and crutch assembly up here at the top and you go like this Eventually you're gonna break it, but with this one it was designed to do this So you can sit here and adjust it all day long To get it in beat and you're not gonna break it because the way it's designed Of course uh, <clears throat> The has the rack and snail. It's kind of like a uh, Herbert Herb movement with the uh, with the way the bird stop lever is. But again, it's made in Switzerland. Pretty cool. The bird is wooden, the tongue does move, but the uh, wings are not articulated, even though they look like they would move, uh, the, but they don't move. I'm going to estimate that this clock was made in the 1950s, maybe 60s, but still a pretty cool clock. God bless.